Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don. And today, well, we're continuing our search for an alternative method of locomotion in VR. And you guys know I've been testing a few products lately on the channel that claim to be new ways to walk in virtual reality. So first we tested the Agile VR from Mechatech, and then we tested the Waco VR. And now I, I really want to thank Cyber Shoes for sending me one of their game stations to test out. Now, this one's going to be a little different. This one's going to be a seated walking experience. It color me interested, man. I, you know, it's like you got this really cool bar stool thing and you, you, you sit in it and then you strap the things to your shoes and then you walk in place on the little circular carpet that surrounds the bar stool. So I can't wait to get this unboxed and I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do. So let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get inside the box and uh, you know ironically after I did my last unboxing I had a guy who was like uh, hey man next time go slower go slower when you cut it open so all right buddy this one's for you ready here we go oh oh there we go oh oh it's a slicing slicing right through that tape just like butter oh there we go there we go the first cut has been made so all right Let's go down the axis here. Oh, yeah. And, oh, that just peeled right open. And bam. And bam. There we go. We have broken the seal, so to speak. So, you know, I got to say that the box is, is nice and sturdy. This is what it was shipped in. Um, it, the thing weighs about 31 pounds. And I, I think most of that is probably going to be this guy right here oops ah uh, which is the uh the, the bar stool and man i gotta tell you that is actually a lot bigger and, and more significant than i thought it was going to be you know you see this in the videos you see it in pictures and and it looks like it's just this dinky little stool that they're sitting on but this actually man there's some like padding in there um, very very nice so go ahead and get this tape off there we go and get a better look at that so man i gotta say that is super super nice guys uh very nice stitching uh feels nice the padding feels nice so all right plus one cyber shoes that's the first thing i see when i take it out of the box the the, the, the backing and the bottom is nice and hard, so very, very cool. Now, um, the part here that dropped out um, looks like it is the, the nice, ooh, and very nice shiny chrome. Um, the gas piston here uh, to raise and lower the chair, so very cool there. Um, and here we have yeah, the base of the chair. Uh, nice. Everything is a is a is a really nice polished uh, chrome look. I'm digging that. Um, all right, and there is the handle for the chair. And let's see here: some cables and uh, connectors. And wow, it even looks like it has an overhead. Now, you guys can't see that because uh, it's up in the ceiling, but I do actually have my overhead pulley system. So with this, you're going to be spinning around a lot. So that's very cool that they include at least one overhead. Now, it looks like maybe a couple of overhead pulleys in the, in the package here. So very cool there. And all right. All right, so there is one of the shoes. And man, I've got to say, that is really solid. I, I mean, super, super solid, guys. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I test a lot of these products, and they always are, you know, kind of almost like 3D printed feeling and, you know, kind of flimsy feeling. This actually feels substantial, man. There's some weight to it. 
Uh, that roller is really smooth. Looks like we've got a USB port, uh, some sort of button, and a uh, LED. Uh, nice, nice buckle clamp there. So very cool, very nice. All right. And let's see, some mounting hardware. And I'm assuming since there's nothing else in the box, the other shoe is, yes, right in here. So there is the other shoe, second verse, same as the first. Uh, you got your USB port, your button, and your LED. Nice strapping though, man. I don't know if you guys can see that very clear, but that is like super, super heavy duty. Uh, so, and last but not least, we got our circular carpet here. And that is also really, really premium feeling and heavy duty. So very cool, man. All right. So already I am super impressed with what I have seen in the box. I can't wait to get it all set up. Looks like there's going to be some assembly required. So we're going to do that. We're going to get all the computer side software stuff set up and uh, we'll be back. All right, so the uh, hardware is installed. Now the last thing we need to do is get the software. Now, interesting enough, where you would normally go to a manufacturer's website to get your drivers and your software for a uh, you know peripheral like this, um, not with Cyber Shoes. With Cyber Shoes, you actually get it from Steam, and and that's the first time I've ever seen that. So props to Cyber Shoes. Uh, that that's actually kind of cool. So what you want to do if you are new like me is just come here to the Steam store and uh, do a little search for Cyber Shoes, and there you go. So there we have it, and you can see this is their driver. So uh, right there, Cyber Shoes let you walk your VR games without limits. This is the driver for Cyber Shoes. It includes a dashboard as well. Cyber Shoes are a popular VR controller for FPS, open world, adventure, riddle, and social games. So we are going to put that to its test now, and I am going to get this set up and we're going to jump into some gameplay with the cyber shoes so let's go
Okay, so I had a lot of fun playing those games in the cyber shoes, man. And, you know, I gotta tell you, it, it, it is definitely something different when it comes to locomotion and VR. I mean, you guys know I have been on a tear lately trying to find a good locomotion system. I mean, you guys know I'm a Trek nerd. I want to walk on the holodeck. And so far, all of the products I've tried, they're, they're close. They're so close. And, you know, I'm going to put Cyber Shoes right there with the other two, with the Agile VR and the uh, Waco VR. I, it definitely does what it says it's going to do. It allows me to walk in VR. But is it that one-to-one, -one, I'm walking on the holodeck feeling that I'm after? And, and, and sadly, I've got to say no. It, it has its moments, just like virtual reality and presence. You know, we, we still have never cracked the nut of true presence in VR. And well, the walking presence, I, I, I get fleeting moments of it. I, I tell you, like, like what you guys just saw when I was in contractors there and you see me creeping up to the side of the rock and leaning around, the actual walking up to that rock was awesome. Boom, mind blowing. But then, yeah, you'll take a few more steps and all of a sudden it'll get out of sync and then, well, then the magic is over. So I, I don't know whether to recommend these or not, guys. I, I'm gonna kind of leave that one up to you. Uh, I will throw links to their site and, and, and down in the description. That way you can learn more. I mean, there's plenty of other great videos out there about the Cyber Shoes. All I can tell you is, is I did enjoy them. Um, I will be playing with them again, especially for the fitness aspect. Uh, I, I do always like to comment on that. You guys know I'm a little overweight again. I need to lose some weight. So uh, gonna be, I know I keep saying, gonna start that fitness series anytime now, but, but I really am. I'm, I'm kind of working my way back up to it because uh, it's kind of hard for me. Um, and I can tell you what, th this will definitely be something that I will be revisiting during that fitness series. So for me, that's it. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, thank you so much for coming by and checking out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude. And you know, if you liked this, uh, well, you're probably crazy, but <laughs> if you like this, head over to my main page and take a look through my videos. I've got stuff all the way back to the grand old days of VR, like all the way to the DK2 stuff. and. If you liked all that and, well, you want to throw me a bone, man, hit, hit subscribe, ring the bell. You guys know the drill. Every YouTuber asks you for it. I, 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 I really do want to grow the channel. I, I'd love to hit 10,000 subscribers, but that's not why I do all this. So for me, that's going to do it. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.